Hey everybody, I'm Mike Peters. And I'm Rebecca Farina. And you're watching LIE. Coming up, we'll have a look back at Women's History Month. We'll take a look at how Nassau County celebrated Persian New Year. And a ribbon cutting in Great Neck Plaza. Plus, PATV picks a peck of pickled produce. All that, that and more on LIE. So Mike, did you know that March was Women's History Month? I did know that, yeah. And did you also know that women actually played a huge role in World War II? See, now that I'd like to learn a little bit more about. Well, I think Carly Lavelle learned a lot at the Air Power Museum, and she's going to share her knowledge with all of us in this next segment. Long Island, strong roots, Taviation, right? Yes. Very strong. Um, we've been exploring that on Did You Know? And one of the things that we don't often hear about as the role of women in the war or even in industry during the war. Uh, can you talk more about that? There are really three key things that this museum uh, touches on which bears answers that question. Mm -hmm. One is everybody's heard at some point in time of Rosie the Riveter. Yes! And at, at Republic <laughs> Aviation we had a, a lady by the name Josephine Richelli. Mm. So we had Josie the Riveter. I don't know whether what she uh, did this past uh, Memorial Day, mm -hmm. but I saw her the prior Memorial Day. Mm. We have a sign that depicts the role the women had working at Republic Aviation. And, uh, and that she would come out and sit next to this sign Hmm. And she's a, a very interesting 90-year-old <laughs> woman to talk with, young 90s. Another significant thing that happened because this was an aircraft factory and men were not only off serving the, the armed forces and so they needed women to work in a factory and make things, mm -hmm. but they also had to deal with the other issue after you've made an airplane, mm -hmm. what do you do with it? Right. They had to fly it someplace, mm. so they had the uh, uh, the women uh, group. Uh, they would br come in and they would they would call the wasps, women Air Force service pilots, and these women would come to Long Island. They were all pilots, and they would uh, maybe stay at the Huntington Hotel overnight, <laughs> and then they would come out to Farmingdale. They would pick up our P-47 uh, fighters mm. and they would fly them to Jersey wherever they had to go. Mm. Now in some cases, the plane then went on a, a, um, a ship in New uh -huh. Jersey and it was sent over to Europe. And that's how the planes got to Europe. I did not know that. Okay. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. <laughs> but this is why we watched Did You Know. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that women did, mm -hmm was a uh, well, war correspondence in both Europe as well as in Asia. Mm. Uh, women worked for various publications, it could be Collier's, uh, it could be, you know, uh, Life magazine or, or some other publication, mm. maybe Chicago Daily News, and they would, they would be overseas. And they didn't carry a rifle, Mm -hmm. They didn't carry a pistol. Mm -hmm. They were equipped with a camera and a typewriter. And so they, they wore military type clothing, but they had a letter C on their sleeve to indicate that they were war correspondent. So March 20th was Persian New Year, and Councilwoman Ellen Birnbaum threw a Noru's celebration, and PATV was there. Let's take a look. Welcome, honored guests, Durud Bar Shoma, Salino Mubarak, and Happy New Year. This evening marks a historic milestone for Iranians of all faiths. For the first time in Nassau County history, legislator Ellen Birnbaum recognizes Nowruz, the Persian New Year. 
Noruz translates to new day. Like many words in Farsi, it is a compound word that is comprised of two words, new meaning no meaning new, and ruz meaning day. Noruz is celebrated on the first day of spring. Since it is a start of the new year, it is emblematic of new beginnings, rebirth, and growth. I'd like to think that in government, it means renewing my pledge as an elected official to perform my duties to the best of my ability to improve the lives of my constituents and all of those who live in our great county. No فرارسیدن نوروز باستانی یادآور شکوه ایران و یگان یادگار جمشید جم بر همه ایرانیان As Iranian Americans and as a greater community we have experienced the bitter sweet taste of the repercussions associated with leaving one's country and finding refuge in a new homeland that has welcomed us with its grace. And it's so wonderful that for the first time here in Nassau County, we are honoring our Persian community, our growing Persian community. And we're so happy that you're part of our county. You really add so much to the fabric of our county here. And I hope this is the start of a tradition. So I expect to see you back next year, and I will learn some of those songs so I could sing with you. There is an important discussion going on right now led by the youth of our nation, and let's have a look at what they have to say. Community. 
we are the parents of Charlotte Kirpin that organized this whole park port for Parkland event. Honestly, most of the effort was really done by Charlotte with us guiding her on some of the things around making sure that donations came in properly. But in terms of picking the acts and organizing it, she really did most of it herself. Yeah, you know, it ended up being an incredible bonding experience for the whole family. You yes. know, her, her younger sister got involved and uh, she, she led the way for sure, but it was a great experience for the whole family. Like seeing all these people come and support this amazing cause, it just like, it just like warms my heart. It's just amazing. Uh, it was really exciting to see the whole community come together for such an important cause, um, like this event is supporting. I was, I was very nervous, and you know, everyone backstage here was so like supportive. They're like, you know, you're amazing. You'll do great. Our original goal was to raise 17,000 total, but we're hoping to actually double that now, based on the success, and be able to give 17,000 to each organization. We are free. Ourselves is lead by example, and that's what Charlotte's doing right now. So thank you. The biggest message is that anyone can make a difference, and anyone can do anything. Really, just get out there and don't be afraid to stand up for what you believe in. Age is no barrier to uh, ideas and to action, and that Charlotte can do this at age 14 means whether you're 4, 14, 24, or 84, you can put an idea into action. I know every single person in this room was shocked by what happened in Florida. And we were shocked by what happened in a small church in Texas. And we were shocked at the tragic loss of life at a country music concert in Las Vegas, at the Pulse nightclub, at another church in Charleston, South Carolina, at Sandy Hook, uh, where basically babies were slaughtered, at a movie theater, at Virginia Tech, at so many other places. And we are blessed that these horrors have not happened here in Nassau County, but everyone here knows that it is possible that something like that can happen. It is an issue that has crossed boundary lines of income, race, gender, no matter the school district or the area that the student finds him or herself situated in, it's a concern that they have brought to our attention by taking to the streets of our country. Both Andrew and I led our school's walkout and memorial service on March 14th. Our entire school joined together to honor the lives of the 17 people we lost in Parkland and called our fellow students to action. We hope that through continued action, one day, we will be able to walk into our schools without the constant fear of whether or not we will term, return home that day. We stand here with you today saying that we, as young proud citizens of these United States, are unwilling to postpone action any longer. And to those who say that guns don't kill people, but rather people kill people, it is imperative to remember that people kill people with guns. Through our action, through our commitment, and through our willingness to sacrifice our time and our convenience, we hear you and we're ready to work for you. Schools can do more, and we will. Most school districts are quite adept at running safety drills for fire, lockout, lockdown, and relocation. As of July, schools in New York State will be required to do a better job teaching about mental health. We currently respond to any emergency call in Nassau County within three to five minutes. Since Columbine, 75% of the shootings are over in five minutes. 
Most are done, 52% are done in two minutes. So you have a two to five minute window for the majority of our shootings, and I have a three to five minute window in response time. Sounds to me like I need to close the gap of that 60 seconds because time saves lives. That's how we're gonna make a difference here. Uh, we've assembled a truly outstanding group, uh, and I know that we are all united in our commitment to doing everything we can to prevent these tragedies. So, as you all know, PATV Brick Wall is our live open mic music and comedy show. And if you want to get involved to come sing or tell some jokes, just email PATVBrickWall at gmail.com. And uh, you remember Mel Bryant? Absolutely. She was one of my favorites. She was a brilliant singer. It turns out that Brick Wall is actually producing some idols because Mel Bryant, who was on the Brick, Brick Wall earlier this year, is now killing it on American Idol. Let's take a look. She picked me up and stroked my face and told me it'll all be fine. Told me to pour out the water, then it turned right into wine. Oh, don't blame me, baby. I screamed when she came to me. High priestess, come lay your blessings down on me. High priestess, I implore you. Save me and I adore you, High Priestess. Lay down your love and set me free. I'll be a holy light. Please make me feel alright. So PATV is very supportive of small businesses, especially whenever there's a ribbon cutting going in town for a new business. So let's have a look at the Ren Wen Noodle Factory. opening of Ren Wen Noodle Factory in Great Neck. Ren Wen means people and culture. And as you can see here, there's a lot of people and a lot of culture. We're gonna walk around and see the great space because there's some beautiful artwork. We're gonna talk to some of the chairmen. We're gonna talk to the chef. And of course, we're gonna try the food. All right, so come on. Hi guys, we're here with one of the chairmen of the Ren Wen Noodle Factory in Great Neck that just opened up. We're here with Stanley Kwong, and uh, Stanley, thank you for having PATV here. What does it feel like to be here today and open the factory? Well, we are excited. Uh, after all these months of hard work, we finally opened, and uh, we can serve the people here. And I have to ask, because I know our viewers want to know, what makes this noodle factory different from any other? Well, very simple. Because all other noodle shops, they buy noodles. And we make noodles. So all the noodles that we sell here are original. It's from our factory. We made in New York. And the name Ren Wen actually has significance, right? Um, I won't give it away, but can you tell the viewers what does Ren Wen mean? Uh, Ren Wen actually is two Chinese words. Ren, Wen, Ren is people, uh, Wen is uh, culture. So the two together is the culture that uh, people had and uh, what they think and what they like. And uh, here in Ren Ren, uh, it's like-minded people have one single love, it's noodles. So we are a place where the noodle lovers gather together to enjoy good noodles. So that means you and me will enjoy noodles. Yes. So will you join me? Oh, sure. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, guys. So we get to go in the back to meet Chef Emmett, who's going to whip up a dish for us. OK, well, maybe for me. But we're going to try it. And I'll tell you how it goes after I have it. Hi, guys. We're here with Chef Emmett. You can call him Emmett. And he's going to whip up a dish. What dish are you going to whip up for us? So we're going to make our lightning pork, which is a mixture of Chinese and Italian cuisine. 
So we're making similar to a bolognese, but with a chili paste base instead of a tomato base. Um, and then we also have a lot of Szechuan peppercorn, which gives this unique numbing flavor. Okay, give to it. <laughs> Guys, the moment of truth is about to go down. So one of the things I want to highlight here is that there's a beautiful mural on the wall. And if you look at the mural, you'll see different people, different sizes, different shapes, and cultures. And the thing about Ren Wen, its name actually signifies that. So not only do you come to a place to get noodles, you get a place to get culture. Many years ago, there was a uh, village boy, uh, 13 years old and uh, poor. Uh, he has to learn uh, how to earn a living. So he started learning making noodles. And this village boy, after 69 years, he moved from one village to another village. Moved from the village in China to the village of Greenland Plaza. And, uh, and for 69 years, uh, he has changed a lot from a poor boy to a, a billionaire. And the one thing, have stayed unchanged. He loved noodles. And he come to the village of Greenland Plaza, wanted to open this store to convert everybody to become a noodle lover. And our chairman, Mr. Ching Sun Wang, eaten a lot and I've met with wonderful people and explored different cultures. I've even chopped it up with the chef. Get it? <laughs> it was a great grand opening at Renwin Noodles. I hope you'll come and visit. But in the meantime, you'll just have to catch us online and catch me at the restaurant. I'm Carlin Lavelle for PATV. Bye. So from local businesses and ribbon cuttings on Long Island, I want to introduce a new program we have called Back to Business. And back to business, we highlight business owners uh, who've got roots in Long Island. And sometimes they pickle those roots. Take a look. Hey there, I'm Carly Lavelle at PATV, and we have a special treat or many treats here today. Um, I'm here with Paul Siegel, Great Neck native and uh, producer of Paul's Perky Produce. And not to just sell you short, Paul is also an author, a businessman. You've sold multiple businesses, like 35, 100. He's written books, uh, real estate, finance. Uh, what else do you do? I mean, besides this, because the list seems to go on and on. Well, I think at the end of the day, what I do is uh, create, take good ideas and help them become reality. Okay. That's my, I guess, my passion and my dream. So I always think that there's lots of great ideas out there and many people have challenges in executing those ideas. It's not so much the idea because there mm -hmm. are great ideas that are abundant, but making it a reality is very hard and it's a process that really great. is challenging. So let's talk about this reality, but before we get to this reality, sure. you have roots in Great Neck. Yeah, I grew up in Great Neck. Um, I was born in Brooklyn. We moved quickly to Great Neck. My mm -hmm. father worked at Booth Memorial Hospital. Okay. My mother worked in the school system as a special education teacher. And uh, since the early 60s, we spent our time in Great Neck, and my home was really the house behind the duck pond at okay. uh, Allenwood Park. <laughs> okay, okay. So pretty much your Great Neck roots have brought you to something I'm really excited to try, and that's your line of produce. So can you tell me about how did you get started? How did this become a the dream of yours? Like any business, you evolve, right? You yes. Tell, and I think one of the things I learned here, mm -hmm. I think one of the things we were um, sort of talking about right. before is that you learn about, if you follow the details right. in the food business, but right. you also learn, in this case, I have a brown sugar mm -hmm. barbecue sauce. Brown sugar barbecue sauce. Now, you promised to come back so we can get down with this brown sugar. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. We'll make a barbecue grill. That's, okay, that's barbecue wonderful. grill. So the brown sugar. And the, it was called the Bada Bing Bada Boom sauce. And, and that's, just, this is the old label. Well, the old label is kind of interesting. It's the mm -hmm. same product, but the, I thought, again, I like to put humor in everything right. I do. 
So the uh, bada bing bada boom this sauce was here. what I originally called it. Right. But uh, people would come up to me and say, well, that looks great, but what is it? Right. So I realized that in terms of how do you communicate what it's about, you need to put the name and the, what's in, inside the, on the label. Right. Right up front. So it's okay. a brown sugar. Okay. And it's the bada bing bada boom sauce. So we changed the labels, kept the same product. Mm -hmm. We have a man up, man down sauce. Again, it's a Carolina mustard. So now it's called Carolina mustard, right. the man up, man down sauce. Great. So that's the Great. kind of idea. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And I'm excited. I'm glad that we're going off air right now because I'm about to get real personal with this line. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you will come back. I will if you can have me. I will definitely have you and your treats. And, and you, I'm pretty sure you're working on some new items, too, so Always. you'll bring that next time. Yes, thank you. Okay. So for everyone who's watching, we're very happy to have Paul Siegel here. And remember, you can follow him online. And, of course, you can always come to PATV and our social media handles to find out where you can find this stuff and see some more videos about what else is cooking in here. Uh, so I'll catch you guys next time. I'm Carleen Lavelle for PATV. Bye, guys. <laughs> Really that was great a good show. show. Today. Yeah, I agree. We uh, learned a little bit more about women's role in World War II. We saw Nassau County's celebration of the Persian New Year. Plus, we had plenty of noodles and pickles, and you know how I love the food segments. Yep. So yeah, all in all, it was a pretty great show. And we have one more for you. We have Vibes with Grace Grella. Grace? See you guys. Oh, incoming! Thank you, Rebecca and Mike. This is awesome. What do we have here? What do we have here? Oh my goodness. It's it's a it's a plane. It's a plane, boss. And it has good news inside for the month of April. April is going to be finally the start of the spring. Spring has been a little stubborn this year for everybody on Long Island. We've had the uh, the, the whitey white flakes falling everywhere we, <laughs> we can look and go to, but it's going to disappear. So the sunshine, a little rain to bring the, the flowers for May, we're, we're all good with that. But I think everybody's just a little battle weary with the snow. So it's time to lighten up and get back into like the crocus and, and pushing ourselves up and back and stretching into the spring and welcoming the new life. That's what the vibes are all about this April. It's gonna take us a while to get there. We're going to need patience um, till after the 15th. And that's because the planet Mercury is in retrograde. And whenever that happens, there's always miscommunications, um, delays, things get rescheduled. You really have to have a zen attitude from April 1st to April 15th. It's going to be go with the flow, no worries. If it doesn't happen, you'll get to it at another time. So just be more accepting, laid back, easy going at the beginning part of April because the second half of April will be, you know, me me roadrunner, full throttle, and making it as fast as you can to the destination where you really want to be. It's going to bring new beginnings into your life, probably from sectors that you never in a million years would have thought that these opportunities would have come from. So it's Vegas wouldn't put odds on that at the end of the month with good things opening up for you in your life. So chin up. Know that, guess what? The flowers are on the way, spring weather, it's really getting better. Everyone is going to be feeling a lot more energetic. And your get up and go that got up and went will make a return. Woo! It's gonna be good. So, stay in the positive zone. Know that April really is gonna be a fabulous month for you. And just keep remembering, it's all good. Thank <laughs> you.